something wrong. Ice cube. Cup. Poof. Water. Uh-huh. So you had an ice cube. You put it in the cup, and the ice cube turned into water? Uh-huh. And get this. I said, okay, Mr. Ice Cube, I'm on to you. So I had a snack, came back, and the water was... Was? Was gone. How'd you know? Are you a magician? Nope, I'm just a normal scientist. And Glam, technically the water didn't disappear. It just changed states of matter. States of what now? You're a dancer, right? You know it. Check this. Maybe I could explain the states of matter with dance. A dancing scientist. I don't believe it. Believe it, bro. That I did not expect. In order to understand the states of matter, I'd like to introduce you to my good friends, the Gregory Brothers. Hit it! What is happening? We're gonna show you how to dance the states of matter. Are you sure you're a real scientist? liquid water. This is water as a gas, and this is solid water. That might seem confusing, but we're here to explain. Water is wet until it is not. It changes a lot when it gets cold or hot. If you heat it up to 100 degrees, it evaporates into a cloud of steam. Let's dance like a gas would dance. When liquid turns into a gas, it spreads out all around as far as it can go. And it's invisible. Now the water is part of the air. The particles float around everywhere. But when it cools down, the gas condenses. The water is wet all over again. Says. Now let's dance just like a liquid would. Flowing around to fill the space. Just like me, water, the most famous liquid in the world. Water is wet until it is not. It changes a lot when it gets cold or hot. If you cool it down past zero degrees, you get solid ice, cause that water will freeze. Now let's dance like a solid wood. Stay really still and keep your shape rigid. Now the water is solid ice. It can't change its shape or its size. Heat it up, then it will melt. And guess what? That water is wet. Now it's your turn. Stand up and sing and dance with us. Water is wet until it is not. It changes a lot when it gets cold or hot. If you heat it up to 100 degrees, it evaporates into a cloud of steam. Let's dance like a gas would dance. When liquid turns into a gas, it spreads out all around as far as it can go. And it's invisible. Now the water is part of the air. The particles float around everywhere. But when it cools down, the gas condenses. The water is wet all over again, says. Now let's dance just like a liquid would. Flowing around to fill the space. Just like me, water, the most famous liquid in the world. Water is wet until it is not. It changes a lot when it gets cold or hot. If you cool it down past zero degrees, you get solid ice, cause that water will freeze. Now let's dance like a solid wood. Stay really still and keep your shape rigid. Now the water is solid ice. It can't change its shape or its size. Heat it up, then it will melt. And guess what? That water is wet. Now dance however you want to dance. 
flowing like a liquid, bouncing around like a gas, or rigid like a solid. hand is a solid. Brr, cold. The water on his hands is a liquid and very wet. And finally, that water vapor coming out is a gas. Now, take out your science observation sheets and write your observations with what happens in each set of pictures. How did ice become water? How did water become ice? And for our bonus, how did water become gas? What if they freeze up? Get it? Freeze? Oh, these are cold. Just think about the song we heard. That should do the trick. And when we come back, we'll show you just what happened. Water is wet until it is not. It changes a lot when it gets cold or hot. OK, teacher, press pause now. We'll be back in a few minutes. Press pause, please. Please press pause. I can't hold these ice cubes forever. And we're back. <sighs> Those are cold. Let's review. Ice is a solid, but when we add heat, it melts and turns into water. Water is a liquid, but when we cool it down to zero degrees Celsius, it freezes and turns into ice. Water is a liquid, but when it heats up to 100 degrees Celsius, it evaporates and turns into water vapor or gas. Did that answer all your questions? I guess so. But I still think you're a magician. Nope, I'm just your normal, everyday scientist. Just like my friends out there. 